Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paula. I am not a makeup artist. I am just a regular chubby gal who loves makeup and has no one near me that is as passionate about makeup as I am. So I post crap on YouTube to see if anybody shares the same passion or has questions or anything about makeup. This is what I've learned and I like to show it on YouTube because I still know a lot of people who have no idea that makeup stuff is on YouTube or Instagram or the TikToks. So I'm here for you. <laughs> I know watching makeup artists is really intimidating. They let make applying makeup look really easy. I've been at this for three years and it's still not easy. Still couldn't apply eyeliner to save my life. I always have to go back and correct it. And I still make mistakes being it 2021. Happy New Year! Whee! I'm from Canada and we are in quarantine right now. My province is in lockdown. I'm not going anywhere, but I want to put on some makeup. I bought so much makeup in the past two weeks. It's redonka donks. I may have a few regrets, but I don't have regrets. Apparently I'm a collector of makeup and so I've been collecting since this pandemic started. So I wanted to show you all the stuff I got, but I also have an Ipsy subscription for the Ipsy bag and it is a monthly subscription subscribed for a year. So every month for 12 months, I get a little tiny pouch with a bunch of makeup products that you can try. So I have tried every single product from Ipsy. Most of them are really good. You get a few duds there, whether it's a foundation that doesn't work for you or a color that doesn't work. They've sent little tiny eyeshadow palettes. And if it's a quad, I've found, I've gotten about two of those and neither of them were of high quality because how could they <laughs> make it high quality and send it in here? But the single eyeshadow that they sent, dang. The single ones, dang, they are nice. They're beautiful colors that aren't too out there. I'm excited to show you what I got in this bag because it is beautiful. So here we go. I like these bags because I put my jewelry in there for traveling when you could travel. Those were the days. Uh, you get a little card here that says uh, home for the holidays, where the heart and fun is. And then it just gives you a rundown of the products that they sent in the little bag. And it'll tell you how much the sample size is worth if you get if you pay regular price. The first is Enzymatic Exfoliating Cleanser. It has 1% fruit enzymes and pumpkin seed oil exfoliating treatment reveals a radiant complexion. <gasps> Way to play up that 1%. <laughs> Feel Beauty, must be a new company. Their skincare products, I've pretty much loved every skincare product. But this is the first time I got body lotion. So there's a nice little um, thing you can put in your purse to carry around with you and it's purple with music. So I love it, I love it, that's pretty cute. The next one is the Caudalie Vino Perfect Serum Eclat. Eclat. Radiance Serum Complexion Correcting and to help lighten hyperpigmentation and even your skin tone for a visibly brighter complexion. The full size version of this product is $79. Wow, um, I would never pay for this. You can get a serum cheaper for that. I'm happy to have this so I don't have to spend $79 on the real thing. I don't have to buy a serum because I keep getting samples of serum. <laughs> I still have like a little basket of a couple of serums that I still haven't tried yet. The last thing I got was the Illamasqua Skin Base Foundation in nine. A full size version of this product is $44. So whew. Well, I tried this yesterday and it is not the correct skin tone for me. It is too yellowy. I'll put it on so I can show you. You want a foundation that when you put it on your jaw and your neck, it blends in like you can't see it. And the reason why you should put it on your neck because look how red my cheeks are and how not red my neck is. It gives you a good idea of if the foundation is actually your skin tone. I'm gonna put on some foundation because I wanna show the eyeshadow and it's better to show eyeshadow when you have foundation on. So I'll be right back with foundation. I had to put on two coats. <laughs> that sounds funny. I applied it with this sponge, a Quo Beauty sponge. Thank you, Dory. But there's, there's a difference. There's some yellow too pale, pasty, white girl there. The nice thing about it being yellow is that the yellow kind of cancels out the redness in my face without the light on. <laughs> I'm a minion. So not, not the right skin tone. I put on some eyebrows. So now that 
you can make sure that you can see all of my expressions. I do have to say, my husband, for the very first time, I wore this yesterday, I walked downstairs and he's like, oh, you put on some makeup. I was like, yeah. He's like, I only knew it because your skin looks flawless. And I was like, okay, Alamasqua, bam. That's the first time he ever commented on that, ever. I would go with Ilamasqua just for that compliment alone. <laughs> so he, regardless that it's the wrong skin tone, I could purchase a full size one of these in the right skin tone. I feel like my skin is so full of texture and like lots of texture. Like there's bumps on my skin. And I feel like my face is a gravel road. Gravel road. Uh, the last thing in the Ipsy bag was the eyeshadow and it is from Ibby. I think that's how you say it. I-B-Y, Ibby Beauty. It is a lush eyeshadow. The name of the color is Balance. And I guess the type of eyeshadow is called Enlighten. It comes in this little container. She is sparkly. It's real pretty, real pretty. I tried it on yesterday. So pretty. And it so it's described as highly pigmented, buttery, blendable shade. And it ain't no lie. It is a beautiful eyeshadow. A full size version of this product is $25. What I did yesterday, I got this eye color stick, Siberian Quartz from The Body Shop. And it is a, a cream eyeshadow and it has some sparkle in it. Any cream eyeshadow you can use as a base. Some people, if you don't have too oily of eyelids, you can use this as an eyeshadow primer. It's really nice because you can put other eyeshadows on top of it and it, it creates a new dimension to the eyeshadow. So it's a fun way to play with makeup and to make looks not so bold. This is a relatively bold color. So I'm gonna just smear it on my eyes. When I open my eyes and look straight, the color that I put on disappears because my hooded eye. So I'm gonna bring it up higher just so that when I'm looking straight, you can actually freaking see the color. There we go. I've got the cream eyeshadow on now. I'm just gonna blend it out a little bit to smooth the edges over. And if there was any creasing that happened while applying, just stretch my eyelids out. You have to work quickly, so I'm stretching it out so I can be faster. It's drying on my eye pretty quickly. It's an older formula. And then I'm just gonna darken it up again. I'm gonna take the Ibby eyeshadow called Balance. Maybe I'll take the light off so you can see. So it applies amazing with a brush. So you know that's a good quality eyeshadow. If you can apply it with a brush and it still has that amount of product going on your lid. Oh, she's stunning. I like to apply it on the middle of my eye, the majority of bright sparkly stuff. And then I like to blend it out to the sides because it just adds more dimension that the shine is there and then it just kind of fades out to the side. What was on my eye was purple and it was pretty dark, but you put this super bright sparkly stuff on and it really lightens it up and it just gives your eye a bit of shadow and a bit of interest. I love it. And then I'm just going to put on some mascara. I'm not gonna put on any eyeliner because I don't want to. I got this item mascara. I believe this is from the last Ipsy. Lash Snack in Midnight Mood. The wand is really neat. It's nice and small. That means you can really get in there and not poke your eye. And I feel like it gets each and every lash and fans them out. Like I can get right to the root. I'm not sure how it, how it stands the test of time but applying it is wonderful. It thickens the lashes a bit, but dang, it lengthens them. And that's all I want. I got this Charlotte Tilbury sample size thing from the Sephora. And this is the Pillow Talk Jewel Lips Dazzling Diamond Gloss. Very sparkly. It's a nice neutral color. There are many glosses that do the same damn thing. The ColourPop gloss, I love it, way cheaper. Quarantine purchases, let's get to it. Oh, there's the cat. You coming in? Come on. Yeah. Oh, big bird. 
I don't know how I found this company. I was looking for Makeup Revolution stuff because a couple of YouTubers like Makeup Revolution. It's a cheap alternative and they do a lot of dupes for more high-end brands and I'm all about that. They have some Makeup Revolution stuff on the shopper's website in Canada, but they didn't have the colors or the palettes that I was looking for. So then I stumbled upon this website called Beauty Bay and it's from the UK. So I spent $75 Canadian and then it was $10 shipping and I was like no way is that gonna be $10 shipping it's coming across the ocean for goodness sakes <laughs> and then in fine print they say you might pay some duties and some taxes they've said that on American websites uh, I've rarely been charged uh, duties and taxes I've bought stuff from China that said they might pay duties and taxes and I never had to but I was hoping I wouldn't pay duties and taxes on this one and I was wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. I paid $75 for the makeup and then $30 for duties and taxes. So I won't be doing that again. <laughs> thanks for the experience, Beauty Bay, but no thanks. It came in this really nice box. Oh, hey you. <laughs> I got really excited because what I've been looking for are the multi-chrome eyeshadows and they're just so gorgeous, but they're just so expensive. They're so much money. So I wanted to try one and not pay too much money for it. Found some and they were like $30 Canadian per jar. So this one had cheaper multi-chrome, but because I paid $30 in duty, I might as well just have paid for the American stuff and got the multi-chrome shadow that way. But anyway, so I thought I was getting a better deal, but it turns out I didn't because of the duties and taxes. But this is the multi-chrome that I got. It is Chromatics Duo Chrome Pigment Pot by or XX Revolution. I didn't realize it was a loose pigment. It comes in a jar like that and you have to tap it out. I have no idea how you're supposed to apply that. I guess you use a brush. There were no instructions with it. I assume that you have to put some kind of eye primer or concealer on your eyelids or possibly like duo eyelash glue to keep this on your eye. It's very fine, but like I have no idea how to apply that. I'm gonna show off the light here. So it goes from a green to a gold. It's, it's a nice formula, it doesn't feel like prickly or sandy like some other glitters do. It doesn't feel harsh, it feels soft. So that'll be nice. It'll be more comfortable on your eye. But I don't know how it's going to stay on your eye. It feels like there would be a lot of fallout. How do you place it where you want it is the question. I bought it to experiment and maybe I'll learn how to use it someday. But it's super sparkly. It's gonna look wicked on your eye. Blinded by the light, revved up like a douche in the middle of the night. I have no idea what those are. Okay, so the next thing I got, I had no idea this palette was this small. Online, all the pictures are super deceiving. It'd be nice if they put like a little ruler so you see, because I didn't realize it was this small. Not that it matters, because I don't need more makeup, dear God. So this is the Forever Dynamic palette. So I've been looking for lots of greens and lots of blues because I haven't had those colors in my collection. I want a rainbow of colors. I have tons of reds, pinks, and browns. And I'm so sick of neutral colors. <laughs> I mean, everybody wears neutral colors. I do not. I want some color, okay? And this one was nice because it has these beautiful greens and the browns. Like a goldy, sparkly goldy one. I thought that would be nice to try. I'm really excited about that green sparkly one, and it, that certainly caught my eye. Could be crap, I don't know. You are crap! Then I got this Book of Magic. Beauty Bay makes their own eyeshadow, so this is a Beauty Bay product. Love the purple, it is amazing, so yay! Find your beauty ritual in our spell book and cast magical looks to be witch. Featuring 20 richly hued shades to customize and enchant, mix them together or create powerful charms or wear them alone to show their individual powers. With velvety mattes, vibrant shivers, and a duochrome, all in a pigment rich formula, these shades have a seamlessly blendable texture and major staying power for spellbinding looks more magical than the last. Cute cover. 
a little bit of iridescence there. These are the colors. Oh, I saw this and I fell in love. Just fell, fell down, kaboom, in love. Had to buy it, had to, had to. So beautiful. They're so beautiful. I love all of these colors. I'm on the lookout for cool tones and not a lot of reds and pinks and browns. Every mother freaking palette has reds and pinks and browns. I don't want any. I have tons of those. I want a palette that doesn't have reds and pinks and browns. This one has a few. One row and a little dabble. But everything else, a black, always good to have because you can make each of these shades darker if you wanted to. I liked these greeny blues. I thought those would be fun to experiment with the greens of this palette, but also the blues to experiment with the greens. That dark blue, I've been looking everywhere for a dark blue and that looks really nice. So I haven't swatched them yet. Don't know the quality of these. So I'm a little scared that I paid all that money and it's gonna be crap. We will see. The last thing that I got for $30 was this makeup palette and it is friggin huge this is the makeup revolution earth palette and i love it those colors are everything i wanted blue green i got blue green i will be honest i don't understand why they put marble in the colors i i don't know why but i liked these other blues and greens so much the variety of them that i was like i'll forgive that and i'll still get it and then I can finally see why the hell do makeup companies make those stupid marbled things? Like, what does it do? It, it's not like it marbles on your eye, which would be a super cool effect, but that's not what it does. I'm really excited to try it. It just, oh, it just had so many different things going on. It's intimidating because it would be like, okay, well, what the hell do I do with all of these colors? But honestly, like you just go boom, boom, boom try something boom 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 you got like a month's worth of just going across or up and down and then and then you start going like across and all over to try different combinations and see what you get so really fun for playing and so many colors so I can't wait to try that and like the greens from this will also go with the greens from this and combining this with this palette like I'm super excited to try it all so that's the one thing I got to say about Beauty Bay is they had affordable palettes with colors that you don't typically see in makeup now I'm all stocked up and good for years to come <laughs> So thank you, Beauty Bay, for offering these, but no thank you, Canada, for the duties and taxes and all that crap. Not cool. Swatches don't really tell you the whole story of eyeshadows. Sometimes eyeshadows swatch poorly, but then they perform relatively well. I don't have high expectations. If it's crappy and it doesn't swatch well, oh well, it was worth a shot. There's the first swatch. So yeah, that's a little patchy and it's not highly pigmented. So I'm gonna do a second pass. So that's pretty much what I figured. That's a nice one. I had to do two passes. One was a matte, one was uh, like a satin finish. Let's see if there's a sparkly one. And that's two passes. It's not the greatest. It'll do, it'll give me a good idea of the colors. That's a black right there. You'll know that you have to build it. I might have to add setting sprays to it to dampen it, to make it more bold so it blends. And it fades away on really cheap eyeshadow that would just totally blow away <laughs> the pigment is staying so that's at least good you can at least build it that is it for my video thank you for joining me if you'd like to see me do some looks with any of the palettes i'll hopefully list the palettes below in the description box to remind you what they were if you want a look from one of those palettes drop me a comment a dm on instagram about um, what palette you would like to see and any specific colors that you would like to see for a look. I wanna help you out and I like playing with makeup, so it's a great opportunity. Thank you for joining me for my video. So please let me know if there's something that you wanna see. I was thinking of doing more karaoke videos cause I had really fun doing that and karaoke that is related to a certain era, like the 90s, the 2000s, and then doing makeup according to that era as well while I'm singing along. I did a video on makeup glasses. If there's any other kind of weird gimmicks that you saw that you're like, does that actually work? Just let me know and I'll see if I can get my hands on it and see if it's a tool that is useful. I did an Ursula video. So if you want to see me try to create makeup as a certain character, I loved doing that. That was fun. And I know a lot of people really enjoyed watching it. I'm hoping to do some other silly makeup looks that I've seen 
uh, circling on YouTube. So I'll see you when I see you. Have a wonderful January and all the best in this new year. It would be a great effort to do worse than 2020. I hope this year is better. Bye! <laughs> Seriously, Waffles? What are you doing? Hey! Yeah. What are you doing? Putting your butt in the camera? You scandalous kitty. Scandalous.